Hey guys, Danielia here. So, told you I'd tell you guys the story about my vacation to Georgia. And uh, so, here it is. Before we get into the story, just want to let you know that before like I left to go on this trip, I made sure everything was planned. I bought my plane tickets. I had my rental car reservation. I had my hotel reservations. Like I was all set up. I had a nice timeline for how everything was going to go. And obviously, since I'm telling a story about it, that's not how it went. So my brother picks me up and he's supposed to have me at the airport two hours before my flight to make sure I can clear everything. And um, we're driving there and all of a sudden we're like stopped in traffic, right? Like we're completely dead stop. And then he, sometimes we get to move a tiny bit, it's a really, really slow crawl, whatever. So we end up um, just sitting there for a while. And while we're sitting there, like five or six tow trucks come down the shoulder and we're just like, oh, okay, well, that was a lot. Like what happened that there's they need five tow trucks right um so we're sitting there for a while and the time is you know ticking by and at one point i'm like okay i'm getting a little little bit worried because i still have to be able to like get my ticket check my bag and get through security so we end up getting off the highway and then we go around the accident get back on it's smooth sailing the rest of the way we get to the airport and uh i managed to from the time he dropped me off to the time i cleared security was less than 15 minutes like it took me no time at all um ever since i started flying i'm really careful about like how i pack what i take with me what's in my carry-on whatever and i didn't even have a carry-on this time i just had my purse there was no carry-on it's a vacation i don't need this much stuff like my suitcase i packed the larger the largest of my suitcases you know when you buy like the three that nest together whatever i took the largest one it was half packed but half of what was packed was gifts for people that i was going to see out there and um I took that one just in case I wanted to bring stuff back. Like I've never like, I've been to Georgia for layovers, but I've never like left the, you know, the airport or I've actually been through there on the bus too from when I was younger. So I've never actually like left whatever station I was at. So now I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if there's things I want to buy, things I want to do. So anyway, I took the larger suitcase, but I got through security really, really quick. Um, so the gate, my gate had a lot of people at it. So I sat at the gate next to it so that I could see my gate, but I didn't have to sit next to all those people. And there were people at this gate too, just not nearly as many. So I'm just sitting there chilling, waiting, and then the sign flashes at my gate saying, now boarding. So I get up and I walk over there, but there's no plane. They are not boarding. And I have the app and there's no notification saying that this flight is running late like there usually is. No, my only um, notification was the guy that's standing there telling us like, um, the plane's not here yet. You know, it'll be here soon. It's it's here, here in Denver, but it's not here at the gate. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Finally, I see the plane pull up because of where I'm sitting now. And I'm just like, all right, cool. We'll get to start boarding soon. And he gets back on the mic and he's like, guys, guys, our, our ride is here. It's here. So I just want to make you guys aware that the plane is now at the gate, but the crew is not. Our crew is on another flight that hasn't landed yet, so we still can't board. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, what the frick? So um, we sit there still waiting, and then eventually the crew comes and we're able to board, but the flight leaves like an hour and a half late, okay? And I'm not okay with this because the app doesn't tell me that the flight is late until I am in line to board. Like at uh goodness i don't even know what time it was but it said that it was taking off when we were just starting to board and i was just like okay this whole app is a lie like i don't know why you guys can't update this accordingly like whatever so i ended up flying to george or uh, um we landed atlanta but since the flight's an hour and a half late i get to the rental car place and they're closed so i end up sitting in the atlanta airport for hours waiting for the rental car place to open back up because the whole stupid flight was late so they finally open back up. I get in line. I'm the second person in line. The first guy goes, talks, gets his car, whatever. I go up there and she was just like, well, your appointment was at this time last night. And I was like, I know, but the flight was late. And she goes, I don't know if I'm going to have anything for you. And at that point, I'm like near tears because I've already like my first flight was late. I've been sitting in this airport for three hours. Like you guys have killed my entire timeline that I had going on. And she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see what I can do for you. So she manages to find a car for me. I go, I get the car, I drive to my hotel. I get to my hotel and I go to check in and they're just like, oh, we canceled your reservation as a no-show. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do at this point. And she's like, just give me a minute. Let me finish doing what I was doing. I'll see what I can do. At this point, I call my mom and I'm just like, ma, no, no, let me tell you about this trip. And it's early in the morning because it was like a little after six, I think, in Atlanta, which means it was five for her. 
and she answers the phone and she listens to everything I'm telling her. And she's like, did you tell the lady? I'm like, she told me to hold on. She's got to do something. She'll see what she can do. So I end up getting a room. But I'm supposed to meet up with some people at 8.30. It's after 6 o'clock at this point. So I'm like, I need to shower and change clothes and eat breakfast and then drive again to go meet these people. And um, I text them and ask them if we can meet up at 9 so I can lay down for like 20 minutes. And they say that's okay. So I'm like, awesome. So I lay down for like 20 minutes. And then I get up, do everything I have to do. And then I'm out the door. And... um. After that, it was actually a really good day. Like, I had a great day just hanging out, went to the park, ran around like a crazy person, went for a walk, um, saw some turtles, tried this restaurant that was, like, really busy. Like, there was a restaurant by my hotel that, um, from the time it opened until right before I went, it was, like, the parking lot was packed. There were just people. And I was like, okay, that's the kind of restaurant I want to go to, the one that's packed, like, most of the day. So I go there and the food's pretty good, but they have this cake display case with all these cakes in it. And oh my gosh, they just look so good. And they have one, I'm pretty sure it's called Suicide by Chocolate. And I did not try that cake, but I really, really wanted to. <laughs> Maybe if I ever go back, I'll try the Suicide by Chocolate cake because it looked amazing. Um, so after all this, I've had, it's been a really long day for me. I haven't slept, right? Since the night before, well, the day before, because I worked, it was, like I said, it was a whole thing. Um, so I end up going, um, back to the hotel, I shower, get ready for bed, pack all my stuff, clean the hotel room, you know, so that it, they don't charge me extra for mess and whatever, even though I was barely there. So there's not really mess, you know, like I had a snack there in the middle of the day, but I wasn't really at the hotel for most of the time. So I get everything ready and go to bed. And then I wake up and I woke up later than I meant to, but I grab all my stuff and I leave and, um, get in the car, drive back to the airport so I can turn the car back in. And um, I'm there like two hours before my flight. And I don't know how many of you have ever been to the Atlanta airport, but this thing is freaking huge, right? Like it is huge. And there are not enough people working there, if you ask me, because there was not enough security. Like these lines were ridiculously long. So even though I got there two hours ahead of time, my flight starts boarding while I am still in line trying to get through security. So I'm just like, okay, this is great. This is great. This flight says it's boarding. Maybe it's a lie. Maybe it's wrong like last time. Maybe it says it's boarding, but it's running late. But I have no way of knowing this. So I'm just in a rush trying to like get through security and get to my gate so that I can get on this stupid plane. Um, so I'm one of those people after I get through security finally, I'm one of those people that like on the escalator, I'm like weaving between the people that are just standing there and I am walking because I need to get to my gate. I cannot miss this flight. Like I have to get home. And I'm not the only one. There's other people, too, that are doing this. So it turns out we're all going to the same place. So we get there, and they have finished boarding the plane, but they haven't closed the plane up yet, which is important because as long as they haven't closed the plane up yet, you can still board. So we're at the counter telling them, hey, we're confirmed. We're not, you know, on standby waiting for a seat. We're supposed to be on this plane. So they open the door. They let us board. I'm on the plane. Thank goodness, all right? And this flight leaves just on time. I just barely made it before they closed up the plane. So I get to, I don't get the seat that I want, which is any seat by a window. Instead, I get an aisle seat, which is annoying because like, even though I'm like kind of leaning over a little bit because the seat in the middle is empty, like I keep getting hit and I'm just tired of people touching me, but I'm like, whatever, just relax, just relax. So I make it home and um, my ride's waiting for me, get home, whatever. I am tired. I'm just out of it. I end up staying a little while because I don't want to like, I want to try and fix my schedule a little bit. So I'm supposed to stay up till noon so that I can go to bed, get up for work. <sighs> but I was just so tired that I overslept by a lot. And then today I went to bed early when I got off work. I went to bed super early and still did not wake up when I wanted to and slept later than I meant to, but whatever. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be back on track now that I slept all day. Um, but yeah, it was just, like I said, it was crazy. Like everything that happened, you know, just involving the traveling. And then it was funny because while I was there, um, somebody was just like, oh, so when do you come back? And I'm like, come back. Do you know what I've been through? <laughs> like, if I come back, I'm taking days off and I'm just going to drive the 20 something hours because <laughs> I don't want to deal with this again. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I, I have no clue. I have no clue if, when I'm going back. Well, I mean, I'll probably go back because like I said, it was really pretty and I would love more than a daycation to see things. Um, it was just really, really beautiful. It was like 70-ish degrees while I was there 
and it was real, real nice. And I was just like, there's so much. And then I got back and people were like, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? And I'm like, you guys realize I was only there for a day, right? Like I didn't do much of anything. I just hung out, you know? So anyway, I guess we'll see what happens if or when I go back and, uh, see some more people. I am mad that I didn't get to see all the people I wanted to see. I was hoping more people would be there. Like I had some friends from Illinois that moved there, but they were out of town when I went. And then I've got some cousins there, but um, I don't know what happened with that. Cause like we talked, we knew I was coming. We were supposed to meet up, but then I never met up with them. Like they never responded to me. I let them know I was there. I tried to call. So it is what it is. But, you know, I'm just going to hope that next time, if there is a next time, that I have more time, that I'm able to see more people, do more things, because I have heard about some things that would be nice to do. So, anyway, that's what happened. Sorry about that little break where you're going to see my edit. Apparently, I have alarms going off that I thought I shut off that keep interrupting me. So, eh. But that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can email me or message me. My email is truestorydennylee at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at truestorydennylee. <sighs> I have to finish getting ready for work. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful night and day. And remember that this has been a true story.